Hello everyone, my name is Lance with Left of Beer Design. This is a FlexPak G2 from Novatel. This is a small GNSS receiver, dual frequency and dual constellation capable. It is uh, L1 and L2 GPS and GLONASS, and it can run all the way up to 2 centimeter RTK, and it'll function as either an RTK base station or an RTK rover. You can configure it for either, either one. On the front we have power, USB, an auxiliary I.O. port, two serial ports, and the TNC connection going to the antenna. The two serial ports, RS-232, also have power available on them, so you can either power the receiver through your da serial data cable, or you can pull power off these serial ports to power an external device like a radio that you're getting RTK correction data to or from. So you've got some options there for powering other things. Now with the, with the receiver itself, you will also get some cables. There is a USB cable, the auxiliary I.O. port cable, which is the DE9 connection, just goes to some pins that you can terminate to whatever it is that you need to do. To do. The power cable, which is a cigarette lighter plug to the, cable, the plug that plugs into the receiver, and a serial null modem cable, just DE9 to DE9. Also, you get some paperwork. There's a CD with it for some drivers for the USB port and the configuration software for the receiver. There's a quick start guide and uh, some, some basic user guide stuff. There's a lot more info on the CD as well. Now, since the receiver itself is just the receiver, you need, you need an antenna to plug in here. So this is Novotel's pinwheel, one of their pinwheel type antennas. And uh, this one is designed for this receiver. So it's L1, L2, GPS, and GLONASS as well. They're kind of a, not, not a match set, but you've got some antenna options, but you need an antenna that's capable of all the frequencies that you want to do with the receiver. Again, on the antenna, there's a TNC connection. So you just need a TNC to TNC antenna cable, a coax, to connect the two together for whatever length it is that you're going to separate the antenna from the receiver. And then a, a threaded base mount, so you can mount this to a pole or some permanent structure or something like that. Um, the thing is actually pretty light, so it'd be all right to carry around on a pole, but permanent mounting, you can do that as well. And uh, as you can see, it's just not all that huge either. The cable to connect the two, this is a 45-foot model of the cable. This is uh, just TNC to TNC. Now keep in mind, when it comes to cables, you will need to make sure that if you go with a really long cable, you'll probably have to use a better quality wire than standard in order to reduce the, the signal loss on the wire due to having a long cable. If this receiver is of interest to you, let me know. Uh, link is in the, the box below. Thanks. Have a great day.